Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Chairs in the Sky, Third Blind. Let us continue. Uh, what were we doing? Uh, okay, so there's this way. Uh, I, I guess I probably want to go back first. So let's go back this way. Oh, wait, is this the way I came in? Oh no. Naru? Naru has got the zoomies at the moment. Gotcha. Yeah, because she just ate. Oh, wait, where am I? Wait. What? What's the point of this? Wait. Because I came here from over here, right? From this way? What is the point of this thing? What is the point? Naru, what is the point of this? There weren't even any enemies or anything. Oh, maybe this leads somewhere. Where does this take us? I'm up here now. Oh, wait, I'm up here. Oh, okay, I'm confused. Um, oh no, wait, so this, okay, this goes to a dead end. That's, oh no, go back in, oh. <gasps> I mean, don't go back in. You know what I mean? Okay, I see. I see now. I understand. I'm gonna go this way. Hello? You are a creature. I'll attack you in a second. That's the other thing, like, I've been avoiding... Really? Oh, what's this? Oh! Oh, we got a thing. Found a seeming stone. Another stone. Wow, that sure thing that 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 thing sure is pretty. Is it some kind of septium? No, it's what's known as a ceiling stone. You were inside one just like this when we found you. Uh I was? Are we gonna find someone in this one too? Without a doubt. You wouldn't happen to have any inkling as to who it could be, would you? Let me think. It'd be nice if it was dead. But I doubt we'd get that lucky. Lotto, can you relax, please? I don't know who this would be. Lotto, who could this be? Ideas? I know, I don't know either. I think we have everyone already. Wow, I have no idea who this could be. <laughs> yeah. Sounds as though there are a number of possibilities. Maybe it's Estelle as a child. And the fastest way to find out which one rings true is to... Take this back to the garden. And let's go! I, w I wasn't expecting to find a ceiling stone. I wasn't expecting to find one there. Wait, what is this thing? Hold on. Arch Devil. Dream Devil that slowly corrupts people. Its attacks are deadly, but beating it may pay off. Mm. Greedy Widow. A very agile Dream Devil that looks like spider. Its hands contain deadly poison. Alrighty. Wow. We're like doing no damage to it. Wait, what's up weak against? Is it weak against... Oh, there's another thing there. Hello. Is it weak against space? Oh, it's very weak against space. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Actually, I think... Oh, hold on. She can do... Oh, does she not have some kind of... Oh, that's right. She can do it on herself. Um... I should really use... Uh... I should use Joshua to increase um, Olivier's, uh, like, use this on him. I really should. Yes. Da 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 da
Da da da da. Oh, she's poisoned. Oh. Bum, 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 ba, dum, bum. Wasting this buff is kinda sad, but oh well, that is just too bad. Ah, oh, confused. I thought he was pretty. Oh my god. I thought he was protected against confused, and I thought Olivier was protected against. Maybe not. Well, it's a good thing we have Lucuria, isn't it? Oh, look at that! Yeah! Heal them all! Oh, you have a critical thing going on. Okay. Uh, let's do. Bum bum. Everything of hers is AoE. Well, seeing as we have a thing going on. Ooh, have we seen this? Let's do this. Who'd have faced? Oh. Oh, rip! Oh, Estelle is ang- Oh my god, there's just so much damage! Estelle's angry, look at her. Wow! Shame on you! Oh my god, we're gonna die. Oh god, we're gonna die. Warning! What? Oh, you're still doing that even though you're confused. What? What? That doesn't make any sense! I'm confused! I'm confused, because Joshua is confused. And, okay, now we're gonna die. Rip. Ah, good. Thanks for that, Joshua. And you called more things? Wow! Can we start this again, please? The music went all jazzy. It's by punishment. Jazzy music. This is, this is great. This is, no, this is good. Good job, Joshua. Why is he confused? Hey, okay, so we need... I, 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 I thought that Olivier was... Protected against this, so maybe it's um, maybe it was the Ries. That's great. Let me retry that. I love the game over music, though. It's nice. That wow, that's a great start. Thanks for that. Um, what she can do? Curia on him. Or not? Oh, she's waiting. Okay. Should we get it to disappear? No, because then we wouldn't get the experience and stuff, would we? Alright, do you want to do... Uh... Can you do like a clock up thing? Not really. Uh, Estelle's gonna curia him, right? Okay, so she can just attack this thing. Get rid of that. And then he can do... Oh, he also has clock up here, actually. He can do... Where is it? This. I can't wait to see that happen. It's such a cool attack. It just sucks that it takes him 10 years to do it. I really should put him in the back row, actually. Yeah, I should probably change the tactics a little bit so that he doesn't get attacked quite so often. Da, da, da. Wait, does he have like a thing that can speed up people? He does, doesn't he? Oh, no, he doesn't. I thought he did. He has taunt. That could be useful. Actually, that could be quite useful, couldn't it? All right, let's do taunt. Da, da, da. Oh, he resisted it. No, you suck. Oh. Uh... Oh my god, this is so obnoxious. Well, at least you did that immediately, that's nice. Okay, we need to do clock up X on Olivier. Oh my god, you're not gonna do it for 10 years! <gasps> okay, um... She needs to do... Like this. On... Uh... Crap. Nope. Uh... <laughs> uh... This is so dumb. Um... Ooh. 
What about if I do Earth Guard on... Well, in 10 years. Do the Earth Guard on him. So he can cast in peace? Okay. Let's try again. Ba -da. That is rude. How dare you do that? Shame on you. I actually forgot that Earth Guard was a thing. <sighs> okay. Ooh, all right. That was pretty good damage, actually. Bum bum. Okay, that animation took 10 years. <laughs> Strange. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, I, I thought the little thing died. I guess not. Oh, well. Uh, great. Sorry, so. Mm -hmm. I should do that too. Bum, 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 bum. Oh 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 oh! Yes. Oh, I love this attack so much. It's so cool. Oh, it does so much damage. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. All right, let's have a look at your craft here. Uh, I want to do this, mm! but I can't. That's sad. It's all right. We'll do Latira. Oh, we won't. We'll do something. <laughs> what are we doing? Um, I guess I'll do this instead. Oh yeah, I need to check our remote ability thing. Because if we have lower defense, that is very bad, I think. Although, well, we've been surviving mostly, it's just this thing's difficult. But apparently it's worth it, so that's nice. Can you stop doing that? Oh my god, I thought, seriously, I thought he was protected against that. Um, crap. What if I can do that? I don't think attack delay works with it. Oh, we need to revive a cell. Whoops. Na -na 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 oh god, I'm scared! <gasps> Boarding! Okay, uh... Okay, nope, this is not good at all. Um... Cures faint, sleep, petrify. Yeah, do that on him. Oh, good. There you go. Alright. There we go. You can keep doing that. What's going on with you? Oh, you can't attack. Uh... Let's do that. Eventually. A pie that could be thrown like a discus. Don't do that. I might give that to him. He needs healing as well, so that will help a little bit. Fragrant juice. Stop doing that! It's rude! Oh, he's gonna do it anyway! Good job, Olivier. You didn't get interrupted this time. Oh, I love this attack! <gasps> so I don't want to speed it up, it's so cool. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Oh, did we do it? Oh, Estelle's dead. Oh, that's sad. We didn't get an item? Wow, it didn't give us an item? That's rude. Oh, a lot of sepit though. Rude? Isn't that rude, Naru, hmm? 
Oh, I want to make another plate of excellence because that was great. Let's make, yeah, 50 billion of those. 50 billion! It's a lot. It's quite a lot. Ooh, it doesn't look that appetizing though. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> okay. Let's revive still. There you go. And I'll do this one. Actually, let's do this instead. Okay, that's better. Whew! Well, that was an experience. What level are we, anyway? 114, 2812, okay. Mmm! Alright, back to the portal. Bum, 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 bum. I was unfortunately... Oh, look at the background. So pretty. I was unfortunately kind of spoiled on something to do with this dungeon, but I'll tell you what it is when it happens. I tried really hard to forget about it, and I was hoping that I'd forget about it with um, with the fishing thing. And I did... Actually, today I forgot about it, until one thing happened, and then I remembered. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Just, just in case you like people watching who haven't played the game before and don't want to be spoiled as well, so... Uh, I need to get back somehow. I don't remember how to do that. Oh, I can just teleport. Durr. All right, to the base area. Let's go get whoever this is. Ba -da 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 -da. Look at Olivier's nice coat he has on there. Unleash the ceiling stone, and I'll check my sepith at the same time. Who could this possibly be? I'm trying to think of what other characters there are. Is it the queen? It could be the queen. <clears throat> I don't know why she would be here. But you never know. Oh. What? What's happening? Oh, so we wouldn't have been able to keep going anyway, I guess. I think- I think we just saw the spoiler that I was told. Actually. <laughs> what? That looks like... It- it couldn't be. Could it? You've gotta be kidding me. What? Why is a gate unhappy? Oh, oh, I think I know who it's gonna be. Oh no, it's not him. Oh! Hello? Ooh, I wasn't expecting him. Ugh. A stun grenade? I don't remember his voice. Who goes there? Speak your name! What? <laughs> I sure didn't see this coming. I presume you're all familiar with this man? All I can tell by the uniform is that he's from the Royal Army. Yes, we certainly are. Uh, I'm not sure what is going on here. Estelle? Joshua? And is that you, your highness? Yes, it is. It's good to see you again, Richard. I feel the same. Oops, I just kicked the microphone, sorry. The pleasure is all mine, your highness. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm delighted to see you well and in good health. <laughs> There's no need to stare at the floor when you're talking to me, you know. Uh, how have you been? Th thanks to Her Majesty's extraordinary kindness, I've been doing very well. I hope you'll forgive me for asking. I'm afraid I don't quite understand the situation I found myself in. Would it be any trouble to request a brief explanation of where we stand? He's so polite! <laughs> My goodness. It would probably be easier if I handled that. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Rhys Argent, a squire affiliated with the Grausritter. The Grausritter? I see. It sounds as though the situation is even more abnormal than I thought. I suppose I should introduce myself as well. My name is Alan Richard. Oh, Richard is his last name? I was once a colonel in the Royal Army's Intelligence Division, as well as a traitor who attempted to instigate a coup d'etat. <laughs> At present, however, I run the research agency RNA Research. 
That's a pretty good summary. Thank you. I think I have a solid grasp now. I wish I knew what else to say. What do you mean? As in, like, you're having trouble believing all of what we just told you? Well, part of me feels that way, yes. How am I possibly going to fit him into my party, hmm? Maybe he gets a good support. But that's not really it. The greatest doubt of my mind is simply, why me? Yeah, why you? That's a good question. Huh? I look at everyone here and I see comrades who know how to fight alongside one another to turn even the darkest of odds in their favour. And whether this turn of events was the will of the goddess or someone else, I can't rightly say. But from where I'm standing, you've already formed the perfect team for overcoming the obstacles, the obstacles before you. I agree. Uh, I guess so. I sure as hell don't want to work with her, though. I don't want her stupid rubbing off, rubbing off on me. Oh, you're going to feel really stupid after I thwack your brains to mush. Now, now, you two. <clears throat> if I may. If I may, I find it hard to understand how I, of all people, came to be here. Far from working together well with, far from working together well with all of you, I'm a criminal who threatened both your lives and the safety of the nation in which we thrive. I can't help but feel my being here is a mistake of some kind. Still, you have helped us before, though. Like during the attack on Grunsel, remember? You came to everyone's aid then. Yeah, yeah. That could have gotten really bad if you and your men hadn't showed up to help when you did. <laughs> They're right. Then there was the fact that you assumed responsibility for defending the city while all of us escorted Chloe to Huck and Gate. Yeah, you might have done some bad stuff in the past, but you're underselling yourself by saying you've never helped us before. Be as that may be. My good man, it's not as though you're the only one here who's performed terrible deeds. To use the occasion Joshua mentioned, while you valiantly defended Grunsel, I was at Harkin Gate threatening Libel's safety. And yet here I am, fighting alongside my friends without a care in the world. Best thing to do here, in my personal opinion, is relax. <laughs> I'm not sure boasting about not having a care in the world is something you should be doing. I have a different perspective on those events, your highness. You were only threatening Libel on the surface. You had no intention of actually doing anything. On the contrary, you were trying to protect it. The same can't be said for me. My conspiracy was of my own doing. Okay, but what about me? We were being used by you guys, yeah, but that doesn't change the fact we were a bunch of sky bandits who even hijacked an airship. But Her Majesty was gracious enough to give us another chance at life, and we're trying to make the most of it, running our new company. I don't think our position's all that different, honestly. Well, you might have done things that you regret, but it's not the past that de determines who you are. It's what you choose to do now. Exactly, and it'd be a huge help if we had someone as baller as you fighting with us. So please, we could really use your help. Are you sure, Annalise? Huh? You guys know each other? How did that happen? Oh, <laughs> I went to visit your dad for something a while back, so that's when we met. Huh? Really? After all we've heard, I see no reason to refuse your company. If anything, we're eager to welcome you to our group with open arms, myself included. We could consider it aid given to the Grauslers, or if that would make you less averse to the idea. What do you say? Hmm. Very well. You have my support. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so glad you're with us. Thank you. <laughs> I only hope I meet your expectations. Incidentally, the there is one thing I would like to confirm first. What would that be? You said that you, be you believe everyone to have been surrounded by that white light and sent here at roughly the same time. When that happened, were you all wearing the same clothes that you are now? Oh, what kind of question is that? Now that you mention it, how come you're wearing your military uniform? I was under the impression that you left the armed forces. That's right. Hmm. Now the question makes sense. You were wearing something different when you were sent here, weren't you? I was. Interesting. Currently, I work out of an office in Drawan City, and since beginning work there, I've never once willingly worn my old uniform. When I was surrounded by that light, I was wearing a shirt and a pair of slacks, as I normally do. And yet, somehow, I found myself here in uniform. That's odd. It's not something that's happened to anyone else, either. Oh, I have a thought. Perhaps the Lord of Phantasma decided the Colonel just wasn't sexy enough in anything else and prepared that strapping uniform for him after bringing him here. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, Olivier, that would be you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. So, in addition to the other billion ways they are a weird freak, they've got a military uniform fetish too? I couldn't entirely blame them if they did though. Same. <laughs> All the girls are like, uh... <laughs> Um, I swear girls these days. <laughs> Shut up, forget it. <laughs> what? Why is there a little explanation of the question mark? Like, okay, that's weird. Still, there's clearly got to be something to it. I get the feeling we're on the verge of a major breakthrough in working out how we ended up here. So do I. As well as what this place really is to begin with. Interesting. In that case, let's put the matter aside for now. There's so many voices! Oh my god. Now that that's settled then, we should start getting ready to resume our investigation. Releasing Richard should hopefully have opened up a new path for us to follow. Bum 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 ba da 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 Looks like we have two more spaces. Um... I don't, I, but I don't, like, I, I, I kind of want to use Richard, but at the same time, I can't possibly take out Olivier or Estelle or Joshua. I don't know. <laughs> Life is hard. <gasps> like, it's nice to be able to choose who I want, but at the same time, I kind of wish the game forced me to use people. <laughs> well, I guess it does. It forces me to use Reese, doesn't it? Never mind. Why, well, well, I mean, you know, like, force me to use different people. Um, interesting. What does this say? Amazingly quick with his sword, excellent arts proficiency. Ah, oh, I'll come back, Olivier. Your aid, please. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, let me try this thing. Oh, not this. I'm just kidding. Um, where where is it again? Is it this one? Yeah. So. It does decrease our defense. Huh, what does he do? Battle CP recovery plus 2%. Oh my goodness. That is very exciting. Ooh. Okay, what other options do we have? Item drop rate plus 10%. Battle EP recovery. Lowest speed. Oh, I guess we could have something that increases our speed. She would increase speed. Oh man. Better HP recovery is better. Oh, she also has CP recovery. But lowers defense. He lowers arts defense. Hmm. God, there's so many options. Um. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I guess. It's so good to have the item drop rate in the Sepith gain. Ugh, I, I, it's, I can't, yeah. I mean, like, unless I'm fighting a boss, I can't really see myself using anyone else. It's just too much. Luminous midpoint. Bum, 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 bum. All right, well, I'm going to stop the episode here. And uh, next time we'll just continue with this place. We'll do doors later. Bye-bye.